the eyes of our heart being enlightened to know and to cherish the divine guarantee and confident expectation. Notice, to which he has called us. He's called us to walk in this. The riches of his glorious inheritance. Did you notice that? The riches. The riches of his glorious inheritance. We inherited because of Jesus. It's our inheritance, church, given freely to us. Given freely. So that you will know. Notice I did not highlight begin to know. Because I believe with all my heart if you're here, you're all, you've already. We're not jump-starting you here. You already have a working knowledge of this. But that you will, in a greater way, know what is the immeasurable. Immeasurable what? Immeasurable power. It's too large. It's too extensive. It's too extreme to measure. His power cannot be measured. <laughs> Can't be measured, church. That power resides within us. That power that is already within us is resurrecting power. I don't care. Well, I wish I didn't say that like that because I don't mean it in that manner. That, that's, not the con, that's not the way in which I want it to come out. What I want you to understand is it does, it's irrelevant. Thank you, Holy Ghost. What one is experiencing in life. It's irrelevant. When you understand he, the greater one, indwells within us. So that power is in us. The power that is in us is immeasurable. There's not anything in your physical body that is greater than the power of God. Immeasurable. Too large, too extensive, or extreme to measure. It's unlimited. It's unlimited. Guess what? It's so unlimited that you release it. If you will release that power in your behalf, in your body, in your mind, in your physical being, it is not limited or restricted in terms of extent, quantity, or number. I'm deliberately moving slow so you can think about that power that resides within you. God himself, greater, greater, he said in 1 John, greater is he that is within you. If we think about the greater that is within us, So all of us, every one of us in here, we have self-inflicted self too many times more than once. Guess what? A simple, Lord, I missed it. Forgive me. Eradicates it. And then, if you will put in an aggressive, accelerated manner of, okay, so I missed it. Instantly, when you say, God, forgive me, it's forgotten. Don't bring it back up. If the enemy tries to bring it up, say, uh, no, no, where is he? He's under your feet. He's got a ways to go to get it up to your head. Keep it under your feet. Keep him under your feet. So Paul said, so that you will know what the immeasurable and limited and surpassing greatness of his power is in us. Notice who believe surpassing greatness active spiritual power.
power is in. We got any believers in the house? I said, we got any believers in the house? Then you need to be saying thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Immeasurable, immeasurable, unlimited, and surpassing power resides within us. Amen? Amen. I appreciate you containing yourself. So John Wesley's quote, it seems God is limited by our prayer life. I believe that. That's why I give this to you. God can do nothing for humanity unless someone asks him. We have found that electricity is God's power in the natural realm. Holy Ghost power is God's power in the spiritual realm. There are three different degrees of power. The degree of power administered. Listen, this is important. The degree of power administered. Number two, the degree of the person's faith to receive. There's many documented testimonies of people with terminal disease and sickness and during the 40s to 50s of the great healing revival I think it was what 48 to 58 somewhere around there that numbers I don't actually know the exact number right now but the healing revival uh, they go from circuit to circuit if they went to one minister's meeting they didn't get it they'd go they'd go to the next one and say well he's lost the anointing not realizing that it was their faith had something to do with it. It is the person's, I'm going to say it like this, it is the person's blank that activates the power. What is it, church? It is the person's faith that activates the power of God in their life. To have a deeper move of the Spirit of God, we must be led by compassion to intercede for others. And to be effective in intercessory prayer, we must persevere in prayer. The intercessor, true intercessors, are not bound by time or space. We should always continue to pray until we have a note of praise or victory. What is that note of praise or victory? We will start to either laugh praise or sing in other words a note of victory assures that we have the answer amen in acts 2 4 they were told and they the believers were all filled with the holy ghost and they began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave utterance in acts 4 23 through 24 being let go peter and john went to their own company or church and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them. When they heard that, the church, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, thou art God, which has created the heavens and the earth and the sea and all them is. Acts four twenty nine through thirty one. Lord, behold their threatenings. Who is the there? The religious leaders grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word by stretching forth thine hand to heal that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. And so when the church had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and they all spoke the word of God with boldness. Amen. I trust that the reading of the word, the teaching of the word from these passages have been an encouragement and an enlightenment to you, but you don't just put it on a piece of paper and not do anything with it. Take it home, get it in your spirit. Amen. amen. Can you say praise the, Lord? praise the Lord? Amen, amen, amen. Now, what is the subject that we've been discussing? 
Prayer produces power. Let's call on him. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you're no respect of persons. The saints united in faith. We're in agreement for restoration in families. Move. Move in a supernatural way. Not a natural means, but supernatural united. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that you be glorified in families that call upon the name of the Lord that serve you with all of their heart. Faith in manifestation, exercised, you watch over that word to perform it. And for everyone that is present under the sound of my voice, we take hold. And Holy Spirit, we ask you to take hold together with us. Move in whatever means and manner that these that are present, whatever their needs are, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha Oh, yeah. Thank you for supernatural divine restoration and the healing power flowing in President Trump's body, in Melania's body, all of those in his administration, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You should have a note of victory right now. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. <laughs>